I don't see how carrying the dread in the country is a problem. Let me tell you something. We are not your property. It's where you're buying it. I think the government of Nigeria, the federal government, should meet with the South African government. I think uh, the bilateral relationship between them should um, uh, be a kind of a cordial one that will settle uh, whatever uh, differences that may be between uh, the two countries. Because you see, the, the killing of Nigerians in South Africa is uh, becoming uh, too alarming. And then uh, the federal government should not even fold their hands. Uh, we, we, our, our people do a lot of businesses in South Africa. And a lot of Nigerians are even going to South Africa. So if the relationship should be maintained, the government should not fold their hands. They should meet with the president of South Africa. That is, our own president should meet with the president of South Africa and settle things. I think there must be something that must have caused it. It, it didn't just happen on one, uh, one day. Something must have caused it. So the two governments, the two governments of these two nations should meet, sit at the round table and find solution to it because the killing is becoming too much. It is Qatar. The president should land with Qatar in South Africa. And I think I was hearing, I was going to meet about five days ago. Uh, they talked about it when we went for the meeting. The meeting they went for. They were able to discuss about that, but I had this morning that the number of shots were still, they bought the number of shots this morning. But I think they, they, they just need to meet and let people be, let peace raise. Peace is not raining in the country. That's why people, peace is not raining here. That is why other people in other countries are doing the same thing. They know the Nigeria, is, the Nigeria situation is unsettled. If other, otherwise, I, I have people who are trying to mobilize people to, uh, to attack and maybe MTN on uh, shop right. But that's not the best way to do anyway. They should set with amicably. The there are ways government can set a panel. Let them go to South uh, Africa and liaise with the other government officials there. And then let them do it. It's something they can set amicably. One of the fundamental issues we have is because we don't have a clear foreign um, policy, whether it's going to be Africa or the rest of Europe. So basically, what the government should do should respond um, in terms of probably bringing out um, economic sanctions where that law would not um, work with the South African government. So they can bring out sanctions or try and uh, make uh, the go their government more uh, responsive, first by targeting uh, the, um, other South African interests in Nigeria and other international businesses we do with them. Then, then we be able to bring, create about uh, international consciousness or awareness to bring about the change that we need. You, uh, this is where civil society should be playing a very, very... Uh, we are free to live anywhere in the world. But whenever anything is happening outside Nigeria, which is inimical to the standard of living of those people that are living there, then the Nigeria government should at all times always stand to be responsible and responsive. The problem we Nigerians are facing in diaspora is irresponsibility of our government in Nigeria. So it is the consequential effect and consequential result of the irresponsibility of Nigerian government that we are facing the consequential effect outside Nigeria. So it is our government that we have to appeal to, that we have to solicit sort of to that they should stand up to their responsibilities for Nigerians in diaspora. Uh, Nigerian government should take necessary measure because being, you know, the way they are cleaning Nigeria in any other country is too much. If they can maintain the standard, if they can strum it, they can put a, a, a better structure in Nigeria. So those people that are traveling to another uh, country and being killed, they will not be killed. If they have a, a good health, a good uh, education, they will not be traveling. And if the economy is better, they will not be traveling. If the Nigeria government can work on that, all these traveling things, they will not be traveling. Our government should meet with the government of South Africa and uh, over there, their government knows what to do. It can be controlled. This is just um, some group of people with a mixed orientation. So I believe if Nigerian government should have a meeting with South Africa government, that can be stopped. It's not going to cause any war. But I think no 
group of people is bigger than the government. The government needs to see a need to what is happening and take a proper step in stopping it. If the government is keeping quiet, probably I trust Nigerian government. They might have been pulling some string on the ground, but I know soonest is going to stop. First and foremost, let me say that I am totally against what the South Africans are doing to Nigerians. If they have a problem with Nigerians being in their country, there are legal ways of going about it. You know, they have accused the Nigerians of being involved in all sorts of crimes. They have a legal system. You, if you catch a criminal, you take the criminal to court and let the, court, uh, the law run its course, right? Now, to go about killing people, looting their businesses, burning their businesses is not right. It can happen in any sane society, okay? Now, I also don't think the South African government has been doing enough to arrest this ugly situation. It appears to me that the government is in support of what her people are doing, and that's totally wrong. If we cast our minds back, we will recall the role Nigeria played in um, when South Africa was under the rule of the whites, the apartheid South Africa. Nigeria spearheaded the fight for South Africa to get her freedom. So I think it's unfair of South Africa to, teach, to treat Nigeria this way. Now, what has the Nigerian government done? <laughs> well, uh, it might be funny, it might not be funny, but I have never believed that the Nigerian government cared about the Nigerian citizen. That's you and I on the streets. Uh, they have not shown that they care enough. I I'll tell you, if you kill an American citizen anywhere in the world, the government of the U.S. will come after you. And you must convince the government why you had to treat her citizen the way you did. But in Nigeria, what do we get? Even in our own country here, Nigerians get killed every day and the government does nothing about it. Rather, they will go blaming the past governments that they are the cause of the problem. I don't know who is the cause of the problem, but I know that there is a sitting government. And I expect that it is the primary responsibility of that sitting government to secure the lives and property of Nigerian citizens wherever they are found, whether at home here or abroad. And I don't think the government has done enough. DSTV is doing her business, you know, as it likes. Nigerians have had reason to complain that the charges are unfair. Did our government do anything? Nothing. Did the people go to the DSTV offices to burn them? No, they did not. But they've con continued to patronize them. So, if the South Africans are tired of Nigerians, they can repatriate them. Definitely, definitely, I'm 100% against the killing of Nigerians in South Africa. And I think our government should sit up and do something. Value our citizens wherever they reside. First speak for us before you condemn us. Don't. Don't just throw us to the wind as useless and worthless people. You know, at the end of the day, it's the Nigerians that will make you whatever government you think you are.